Mexico. Mexico is a great example of what happens when you have anarchy. Uh, Mexico has nominally a government, but it really, at the, at, outside of Mexico City and maybe certain provinces, Mexico is run by cartels, uh, drug cartels. Uh, they basically, you know, run the local governments, they run the local police forces, they, they control everything. And what that leads to is massive amounts of violence, because these are private police forces. They collect protection money. You know what protection money is? It's a fee for services for a private police force. So this is the anarcho-capitalist's wet dream is cartel-run Mexico. This is what they think the world should look like. Well, it turns out that when there's a conflict within a cartel, they don't go to voluntary arbitration. I mean, it's stunning. You'd think that the incentive structure, because, you know, anarchists always tell us, oh, there won't be any fighting under anarchy because war is very expensive. People, people don't want to spend the money on war. It's expensive in life and expensive money. Ooh, maybe I should tell that to Hamas and Hezbollah. But um, maybe if they heard the anarcho-capitalist argument, they'd, we'd, we'd have peace in the world. And I, you know, these people are so detached from reality. It's astounding. Anyway, uh, it turns out that when, within the uh, Sin, Sinaloa, Sinaloa cartel, they have a disagreement. They don't use voluntary arbitration as the anarcho-capitalists would predict they would do. What they actually do is they take out the arsenal of weapons that they have and start killing each other. And indeed, just over the last few, really, uh, you know, what, two weeks? Two weeks. There has been a, um, a, a massive uh, conflict within the Sin Sinaloa cartel in a part of Mexico, its western region, and uh, two different parts of the cartel are vying for dominance. Uh, at least uh, 53 people are being killed and 51 people are missing as a consequence of this just in the last uh, couple of weeks. Uh, you know, th these uh, cartels have a huge amount of money. Uh, and uh, now part of this dispute happened because <laughs> one member of the, of the cartel took the lead of the cartel, drugged him. This is, this is life in Mexico. Drugged the lead of the cartel, put him on a private plane, flew him to America, and handed him over to American authorities. Just a weird, one of the weirdest stories I've ever heard. Who knows what was going on there? And since then... Uh, they've been fighting it out. They've been shoot shootouts on a daily basis. And uh, so we've got at least, it looks like 104 casualties, but probably many, many more to come. Uh, again, this is just a perfect illustration of how the anarcho-capitalists, this is the world in which they inhabit, or they would inhabit if they got to ever implement their ideas. Oh, but they have in Mexico right now.